All right, one more startup to come on stage. Please uh, say hello and welcome to Christian Dahlmann of Tado, and they're doing cloud climate control. Here's your clicker. <coughs> and you can Thanks. advance on the right button. Here gets some phone, Genau. Right. In the middle. Perfect. Hi. I'm Christian. I'm founder and CEO of Tado.com. We're very happy to be here. Uh, it's an honor to present at Eco Summit 2012, and with me is my colleague um, Leopold over there. So let me kick this off by um, one little question. It's not a big deal, just one question. So do you leave your car running um, all day long when you park it? No, of course not. It's a complete waste. So, but what if seven out of 10 of us would do exactly this? This would be a nightmare for our environment if everyone just left their car running. When it comes to heating, this is exactly what happens. So, seven out of 10 just leave their, leave their heating on 24 seven, no matter if they're at home, if they went to work, or if they're away for a weekend trip. So, what, why can't you just switch it off? as you do with your car, or with your tap water, or with your, with your light bulb. It's very simple. It's, first of all, it's, um, it's a hassle. And second, and moreover, um, it takes a while until rooms heat up again. So, um, so it's just not comfortable to have, it to, 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 to have a switch. So the switch for heating is not the weapon of choice. What about the programmer thermostat? This device um, was actually invented to tackle this issue. <clears throat> all of you, I bet all of you know it, how, how, what, it is, uh, what a hassle it is to program these things every day, from Monday to Sunday, sleeping times, away times, um, home times. So in my per from my perspective, whoever designed these devices from a user experience point of view should be arrested. So. <laughs> so, um, and moreover, um, it doesn't really work in practice, because when you come back early, it's cold, or this device is spending your money big time. So, these devices didn't solve the problem. Let's forget about thermostats, put them in a, bo put them in a box, and send them for recycling. We at Tado believe there's there's need for a change. We believe <clears throat> there must be a better solution, a new solution, which takes on this challenge. And there's technology out there at the moment, so it's possible. <clears throat> and that's why we, why we built Tato. Tato adapts to your life. Tato takes care about your heating while you enjoy your day and go on in the day. <clears throat> An example, in the morning when you, when you go to work, Tato um, or your, your, your cell phone gives a signal via Tato to your um, to heating system to cool down, to turn it down, and save money and energy for your home. <clears throat> of course, in time, before you get back home, the Tato intelligence has already made it warm and comfortable, <clears throat> and not only that, but also when you get up in the morning or when you go to bed in the evening or, for, um, um, or when you wa want to watch a movie. Tado takes, um, takes care about your comfort and saves you as much energy as your day of life, as your way of life allows. <clears throat> so while people go on with the day and don't have to care about anything, Tato, the, the Tato um, aggregates real-time data in the background, from user behavior to weather conditions or um, home characteristics. These are processed in, their, in your private Tato account to generate the signals to control your home. What we need is a little microcontroller box, which um, actually does the link fr from, your, from your cell phone to, the, um, to, to your account to the heating system. So to wrap it up, we take this ancient technology, 
which hasn't of heating systems, control um, systems didn't actually didn't um, see any innovation for the last decades. It's still valves or simple thermostats, and we bring it to the state of technology. We fast forward it to the state of technology. We bring it up into the cloud, and once it's up there, you don't have to worry about it anymore. And Tato brings um, comes along with three more um, uh, good things. First of all, we save you around 30% on your energy bill. <clears throat> you will have the, the power on our widget-based application to always see in real time heating costs or, um, or bill projections on a daily, weekly, or monthly um, basis. Of course, you can set your preferences or control it from anywhere, from anywhere in the world in any web-enabled device of your choice. So let's get um, down to business. Taito will be available um, starting in fall 2012. Therefore, we have partnered with several um, uh, multipliers, which will bring it to the masses, counting ut telcos, utilities, or heating technology firms. Those companies often have large customer bases, already sell subscription models, <clears throat> or um, have network connections into their homes. For them, we offer to leverage their customer base, increase their RPUs, and boost their product offering for their customers. So that's the rollout. But Tidal is already running since more than a year. We have systems in place since February 2011, and this year we, ha we, we had and we still have, um, we're still open in our um, closed beta phase where we connected 50 homes to, um, to Tato. Over in sum, the community of all Tato users already saved more than 100,000 kilowatt hours of, of energy for their pockets, to, their money in their pockets, and the environment. <clears throat> so Tato is a new paradigm in climate control, and I encourage you all to get involved, either as a sales partner, investor, beta user, Facebook fan, or as a member of the team. So thank you very much. And if you have any question, me and my colleague Leopold, we're here at the conference, and we're happy to talk to you. Great. <clears throat> any question to Christian? There's a question over there in the back. Please wait for your microphone. <laughs> Almost finished. <laughs> Hello. Benno Bartels from Insert Effect. Um, thank you very much. Fantastic idea. Uh, I really like it. Um, can you, in just a few words, sum up uh, how, it, how it's done technically? How do you do the connection between uh, the radiators and um, the cloud? Sure. I mean, um, that's what we have our um, microcontroller box. It's basically, you saw this um, little thermostat. So basically, as I said, we, um, we, we take this thermostat out and bring our connector, which communicates between the heating system and our um, Tato cloud account. So it's, uh, it's, connected with, it's connected with each radiator, or it's connected with the whole radiation system, yeah. heating system? Yeah, it's basically um, it's connected with the, with the central heating system. And they're um, actually going into detail. There are like three different types. But the main idea is connecting to the central um, um, heating control system. OK, thank you very much. Yeah. And they recently got funded by Target Partners. And there's one more question here in the front. <clears throat> Thanks. Um, I would be interested in how high the variation is. You said 30% savings, but obviously it's not the same for everyone, is it? No, that's true. I mean, um, that um, depends on your way of life. It depends on your heating system and your home characteristics, your building characteristics. So it's actually it varies um, between like um, 15 and 40%. So we usually say up to 30%. One more question, Ahmed. Yeah. 
uh, how does it look? I mean, aesthetically, uh, I am sure yeah. you know your uh, competitor from the US, the Nest. Sure, yeah. Nest. <laughs> of course. I mean, um, the difference uh, is basically that uh, our philosophy is um, that we don't need an extra glossy device to input it on the wall. So every one of us has a um, uh, high quality, uh, most of us, a quite high quality smartphone in their pocket. So um, why do you need to um, have or spend lots of money and um, put an extra one onto your wall? So this is, this is the first thing. And the second thing is that um, we want watch much more focus on the um, uh, algorithm and um, the real-time interaction and control signals. So it's not, a, it's not a learning thermostat, as they call it, but it's more the, the real-time data which come into the control to, um, to do this. Great. Thank you very much. One more round of applause for Christian from Cardo. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs>